Okay, in this video we're checking out the Bee Brain Light from Newbie Drone. And what you see here is actually the uh, Bee Brain Light flight control here with the Acrobee kit. And so the Acrobee kit is actually the motors, the props, and the cockroach frame. And then the Bee Brain Light comes like this with the flight controller, with the this new canopy and BI camera. Um, I've actually been testing the Bee Brain Light out for a while now, but this is the final version. I've been testing out the previous version, or I guess the prototype version, had the really large capacitor. They, they've gotten rid of that. They don't need that anymore. They've redesigned the board a little bit, so it's a little bit different now. Um, so yeah, so you have uh, what's really interesting about this uh, particular uh, flight controller board. It's an all-in-one. It has uh, F4 chip, uh, Betaflight OSD. It's got a built-in FreeSky receiver. Uh, there's also a Spectrum version with a DSMX receiver in it. Uh, all in a single light, uh, basically called the light board. So if you are familiar with the B Brain V2, uh, which I actually never reviewed, but I heard that that was actually about two grams heavier than this, so they were actually able to shave more weight off of the board and add more features and upgrade this to an F4 processor. Uh, has a built-in video transmitter as well on the board as well. So one to 25 milliwatt video transmitter. You can see here the antenna, and I think it is connected. Yeah, I think it's connected right there via a micro FL connector and they have some looks like they have some liquid tape on there to hold it down and then this thin wire right here is the receiver antenna um, it has built in RSSI and the OSD so yeah they've actually were able to Im improve the features and get the weight down I'll give you weight measurements here in a second but the the thing that makes this board stand out and makes it different from um, a lot of the other brushed uh, whip boards out there is that this has this new thing called active braking for brushed motors and um, I think this is going to sort of bring back I think at least in my eyes uh, brushed motors for those of you guys that fly in a lot like smaller spaces indoors I really found this to be uh, very enjoyable to fly uh, because of the active braking feature and if you guys don't know what that is basically what it does is when you let go of the throttle instead of it passively allowing the prop to slow down, it actually actively slows the prop down. So you have uh, more of that feel that you get from flying the brushless whoops or even like the bigger brushless, um, even the five inch drones, uh, five inch quadcopters, because I don't know if you guys remember back in the day when the five inch drones, the bigger drones, uh, didn't have active braking, that's how the props would slow down. You would, you would let go of the throttle and then you would wait for the prop to slow down so certain maneuvers would be less would feel less responsive and because of the active braking feature I feel like this flies more like a brushless uh, micro or a brushless whoop with a, like say 1s or 2s brushless motor on it and uh, because it has that ability to slow the prop down actively with the active braking fets that are on here for these brush motors so that is the biggest thing I think is the difference between this and any of the other uh, brushed whip boards out there as far as I know and I might be wrong on this that I think this is the only one or the first one at least for now that has that ability so in my opinion this thing feels a lot different in the way you fly it compared to say uh, something similar like from beta FPV or um, LDARC like the, the tiny six six X etc those kind of the, that class of brushed whoops with the six millimeter or seven millimeter motors I just feel like it flies better or more closely to like the way the brushless motors fly, even though it's a brush motor. So in that sense, that is the thing that is the biggest thing that makes this thing stand out versus the rest of the brush boards. And for you guys that are just looking to fly something really lightweight, um, and, and by the way, this has longer flight times as well versus the 1S brushless whoops like the UR65. So you, you'll see the, the flight times are pretty long compared to the UR65 because of the brushed motors versus the, the 1S brushless motors. Another difference there. But uh, it's less weight, uh, you get better flight times, and I think this is going to be better for smaller indoor spaces, uh, whether you're doing uh, racing or acro flight. Uh, for me, uh, you know, I, I, I fly in a very small space in my house. I, I've been flying this quite a bit indoors. It's very quick to just pop in uh, a 1S battery to quick to charge and you know get in some flights. I think I get like a three and a half minute flight on the 1S battery here, so pretty decent. Uh, I think on the UR65 I was getting less than that, so on a similar, I think 250 size one, one uh, milliamp hour 1S battery. 
Anyway, another uh, cool thing that I forgot to mention that's on the board is three LEDs. And you can, these are programmable LEDs. So I want to plug this in and show you that. So you get, uh, and it's going to be hard to see, the lights are pretty bright here. You get, I believe, one on top right there. And then you get two on the bottom right there. So I've seen people in the forums, they were programming them for like, right turn, left turn, that kind of thing. You can change the color, so it's all programmable in uh, beta flights uh, for the LED. You have to actually enable uh, LED lights and then you can do the programming. I'm not a... I'm not much into programming LEDs as to what, what they're capable of doing. Obviously you can make them blink, blink faster, tie it to what direction you're going to, throttle, stuff like that. But uh, that's not my, <laughs> not really into that. I just, what's what you see here, the pattern that you see uh, here is what came to me. I just left it alone. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool for those of you guys that are flying around and uh, want to have different colors for when you're flying with your buddies. Uh, you can have like, you know, a set of different colors so you know who is in front of you etc when you're racing that kind of thing would be kind of cool because of the lights and also the fact that there's two on the bottom and one on top you can have uh, different things for uh, those particular sets of LEDs but I thought that was pretty cool that uh, on such a light board uh, they're actually adding the ability to, to program these LEDs and it just make it really unique okay so I'm sure you guys are dying to know how much this weighs and and we're coming in at 20, just a little over 20 grams. So yeah, I think it's definitely, if I remember, a lot of these six millimeter whoops um, were in the 22 to 24 gram range. So this is definitely lighter. And I could definitely feel it in um, the way it flies. Uh, you could do more acro with it. I don't really do acro indoors because since I, really, I live in a really small house, but outside I was able to do a little bit of acro with it. And it does seem to handle better, tighter turns, corner, cornering is better. Um, I just flew with the, the default tune that came with. They did tune it from the uh, from uh, the, from the factory. So um, uh, unless you're into tuning, I would just fly it the way it came. It seemed to fly just fine on the tune it came with. Anyway, go ahead and I'll show you some flight footage that I've got from this indoors and outdoors. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the performance. It's really going to be hard to tell just from watching the video on how these motors feel. Um, it all has to do with the way the throttle feels in your flying and. If you're don't if you're not an experienced pilot, you're probably not going to know the difference. But I think that for those of you guys that are experienced pilots, I highly recommend you guys check this out. Especially if you are still flying the six millimeter brushed whoops, upgrading this is going to make I think it's going to be a huge difference in terms of uh, how you feel the, the the little whoop flies. I think it flies a lot better versus the old um, brushed uh, FETs that don't have the active braking feature. Anyway guys, here's the uh, flight footage and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.
Thank you.